What is going on, you stark raving lunatics? Guys, I'm going to talk to you about Terra Luna Classic today, and we're going to talk about what could potentially happen. How a uh, how a repeg, if you will, would work, what it would look like, and I'm going to give you just kind of the thread of an idea, and you guys are going to have to be the ones that, that figure this out, because I'm a moron. I have no idea how this stuff works. Uh, I, I just, uh, I'm, I, I'm just the pretty face that tells you uh, these kind of wild things, but I'm going to give it to you and show you. It's going to be a little later on in this video. In the meantime, we're going to check out the news. We're going to see what's going on, and I'm going to give you the bad news first because there is some bad news, and that is that uh, <clears throat> the worst judge in the history of sucking the SEC's D is the guy that's in charge of Terraform Labs versus the SEC. So let's kick it off with a little bit of news. Uh, by the way, before we get started, if you like this content, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified, and please share this with as many people as you possibly can. Send it to, to, to Twitter, send it to YouTube, send, send it wherever you want. Just make sure that you share this with as many people as possible. Uh, try to build an audience, if you will. So guys, the first thing that, that you need to know is that the uh, SEC and Terraform Labs are going at it in the Southern District of New York and the judge, Judge Jed Rakoff. This is a, uh, this guy's like 498 years old. Uh, he was around for the founding of America, I want to say, and he does not take to technology very well. Uh, he gave a brief e overview in the pretrial, and uh, he stated that the SEC alleges that Terraform false claims to investors that Chai Corp, a firm of Terra co-founder, used TFL technology to do business. In reality, um, Chai Corp never used Terraform's technology. This is wild. Okay, so they're, you know, again, these things are, are go read this. I suggest you go to CoinGate and read this article to see what's going on here because there are a lot of things. And look, this is potential that you're going to see the, uh, the jury is going to look at this and they're going to be like, what? I, guys, I'm telling you right now, this is another this is another loss for the SEC. Also, uh, you can go through here and you can kind of look at some of these news articles about Terra Classic price stuff like that. Remember, we just discovered that you were being lied to because they said that um, that one of the proposals was about to be repealed, and uh, repeal Prop 12033 is not being repealed. Uh, you need to KYC if you want to do business. Uh, as uh, if you want to hold my money, then I need to know. Not that I don't need to know who you are, but I need somebody to know who you are so that you don't scam me. And also, uh, when you look at the community guidelines, stuff like that, we're talking about cross chain swaps today. And then we're going back to that USTC repeg proposal contest. And we're going to see something about what that looks like. Now, what you might be asking yourself at this point is what would the repeg look like? Well, we're going to get into that, but we're going to do price action first. All right, guys, we're not trending any different than we were before going back into this. I told you guys I expected to go come up here and to test this green box again. Guess what? We came up, retested the green box again, got rejected. Now, the green box, I should have made a little bit lower to correspond with those lines right there. Then it would make more sense to see how that rejected. Uh, but we came down into the 50 MA, and it looks like we're about to do a retest. The broader market started to bleed a little bit in the overnights. Uh, and, and through this morning, we had a huge spike, and then all of a sudden, uh, we had a huge sell-off. The U.S. market doing what U.S. markets do, which is scam and manipulate people, and that's just what we do. So uh, I expect off of this, we're probably going to get a, a little retest up here, probably break through at some point, get into this little range of chop here, and then have that breakout. It's still in tap. We're, we're, we're still on tap for that big breakout to 3 zeros 25, uh, which I think is going to be happening fairly soon because we are now working on those pieces. And if you were to, to grant here on the four hour, if you look down here, you can see that the uh, RSI has reversed. And when you get a reversal like that, it usually means some upside momentum. Now, will it maintain is going to be the question. And I don't know that. Uh, we could be looking at a little bit more downside. If we do, then we're looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of 13, 9, 14, maybe uh, before we can get a spike of reversal from that. A lot of bearishness in the market right now. That bearishness basically in the altcoins specifically bitcoin still holding up surprisingly well trading at about sixty nine thousand, despite going up to seventy one thousand seven hundred just a few short hours ago so volume down another 38 percent today uh market cap down another four percent today ustc down 14 percent in volume and four percent in market cap overall now you might be asking yourself what about that repeg well let's talk about the repeg and we're gonna do that Right after this. 
Cryptonomy.finance just launched a research section, so make sure that you go check that out today. Learn a little bit more about crypto that you may not have known before. If you are a corporate client, you can have a relationship manager uh, and a lot of customer support, superior OTC services, and institutional tools that will help you in your venture. Also, if you sign up for the VIP course, you can get in touch with high-touch wealth management personnel and a lot of different people and personalized information as you need in order to successfully navigate this crypto. Also, if you look at my moves right now, you can see that I'm earning over 106 Solana on my last staking. My Tether, I'm going to earn 1670 on my staking so far. Uh, you can see there's some of these have, I've earned $784. I can't cash out for a while, but uh, I've earned 784 so far. And then in the launch pool, guys, if you haven't checked the launch pool out, you've got to check the launch pool. Look at these ROIs that I'm getting right now. It's fantastic. Uh, 20 X on K9 Finance, 7X on Weave, on Block Jerk. Uh, if you get, if you put a stake into this system right here, it gives you a fantastic amount of rewards. Go check this out today. All right, guys, we're back. This is what the repeg is going to look like. This is, in my opinion, a, a viable method. And I don't know if I did this all right. You know, obviously, I didn't put that line in place next to pool in USTC. But just to give you guys kind of an idea of what I would be looking at here and why I think that there's some possibility here, um, Luna Classic to USTC. Let's just say that you sell a million tokens. 98% uh, of those million tokens are going to be returned to the pool. And then 2% are just going to go to the burn wallet. The end. That's, that's, that's what happens. Now, you get full credit. You would be fully credited for the value that you are doing and this is going to be provided you go from Luna Classic to USTC. I think this is, in my mind, the only way that this works right now is from Luna Classic to USTC. So you trade your Luna Classic and you go into quote unquote stable, which is going to be USTC pegged to three cents to start off with because we're right at about 300 million market cap. I think it's fair to say that we could burn off in some way a little bit of supply to get to three to exactly three cents and then have the capacity and ability at that point to have that pool where we're at three cents. Now it could move down to two cents. It's still going to be, it's not stabilized completely yet, but uh, we're, it's going to be algorithmically done. So uh, we're going to be pegging it to three cents right now. And then uh, as we get more market cap, as we get more trading, as we get more price action, then of course it'll go up to four cents and five cents and six cents. But for right now, we're going to peg it to three cents and then 98% goes to the community pool where you buy and where you buy your Luna Classic and then 2% to the burn wallet. Consequently, if you do the reverse, then USTC to Luna Classic, 98% is going to go to the pool. 2% is going to go to the burn. Now, I'm not really sure uh, how best to do this in some of these contexts. So when you go from USTC to Luna Classic, it is also possible uh, to change this a little bit. And I haven't, you know, I, I it occurred to me a while back that we could do this, but uh, what if uh, we could also do something along the lines of Luna Classic to USTC, 96% to the pool, 2% to Luna Classic burn, and then 2% buys USTC and burns it, thereby ensuring price uh, pump. And then the same thing on the reverse side, USTC to Luna Classic, 96% goes back to the pool, 2% then gets immediately burned, and then 2% is used to buy Luna Classic, and 2% of Luna Classic is burned. 2% of your price action, by the way, not 2% of the overall amount, but 2% of your price action is then burned, bought and then burned uh, going back into the pool. And then this, of course, is going to be based on achieving certain parameters so that when USTC then gets 400 million, then we peg it to 400 million and et cetera, et cetera. And then that's how we would increase it, knowing algorithmically at this point, and it should be, we should remember here, algorithmically, we say uh, it, it is possible that this thing becomes unpegged. Again, there is some risk associated with it uh, because the cash is not immediately on hand uh, in case there is an attack on USTC. It could be that during the early formative days, uh, we go from four cents down to three cents or from three cents to four. You know, there could be some fluctuation here as we're doing it. Now, uh, that's to just point out at this moment. But uh, I think that that represents a viable means by which this could happen. So in essence, what I'm saying is 98% of your buys and sells, we go back into the community pool. You get full value, by the way. 
but the 2% that's left over goes into a burn, maybe 1% to Luna Classic, 1% to USTC, and they both go to the burn wallet, or 2% and 2% going to the burn wallet. Um, and then I think that that should kind of resolve itself in short order, especially if we're able to peg USTC to three cents. Now, remembering that, you know, there has to be, we have to have enough that at this point, uh, USTC, we're going to have to come up, by the way, we do have to come up with the money in order to do this. So it might be that USTC ends up being uh, pegged to a penny or something like that, something lesser uh, in order to make sure that we are stable in our levels, if you will. So uh, that's going to be a discussion for another time. You guys are the geniuses out here. So go work this out. Go figure this out. Go figure out a way that we can make this happen and then find the programmers so that we can make it happen because there is no programmers here. This is a decentralized process, a decentralized program. It's based on a community DAO vote. So if you guys vote for it, then it will happen. So uh, the next step is to find somebody who can make these things a reality, put it on test center. Let's test it out, see if it works. If it works, then we're good to go. If it doesn't work, then we go back through some more testing. We figure out what does work so that we as a community can finally start to see some serious burns. Speaking of burns, if you haven't already, sign up at Weeks down in the description below and make sure that you start trading over there because they're doing as much burning, even more potentially than Binance if you give them a chance. To give them a chance, description below, weeks, go sign up, start trading today. I've seen a lot of you trading. We've traded almost, almost a half a million dollars so far. Uh, thank you guys so much for that, uh, for the support. And let's continue to do that. Let's continue to build that up. And if we can do that, then this is going to be a fantastic burn opportunity. But until the next time, remember, it's not financial advice. I'm always right. I appreciate each and every one of you. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon.